What's going on guys, Nico here, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you five keys to writing melodies that I break down in this melody that I'm working on right now. I highly suggest you watch this video from start to finish if you wanna become a better songwriter so you don't miss out on anything that I'm gonna be breaking down in this video. With that being said, let's get to work. First one by far is the call and response between our saxophone lead here and then our lead bus. So if we just listen into it, And then we get into that part right here. So really we have a melody going back and forth between melody and melody. And guys, normally when you do call and response, you can keep it as the same melody. But what I wanted to do here is what I, I want to just keep the listener engaged. I wanted to keep them paying attention. So I created the saxophone thing. And I said, that's not enough. Why don't in the empty space, if we just get rid of this and listen to this, it's kind of empty. Now there's different things I could be doing in this section, right? I could be adding a vocal, I could be adding the vocal lists and making a vocal chop using sound toys or something like that. There's a lot of different things I could be doing. I could be making the saxophone lead a little bit more interesting. Like later on in the song, actually, when we get to this point right here and you haven't even heard this yet. Right there, I don't really need the pluck sound as much, but when we're in our first drop here, it's needed. So you see the call and response is doing a great thing here. Now, the next thing I want to point out is the law of three. Now, Sagala, Kaigo, Avicii, all these guys, they use three notes normally for their quicker melodies. Now, obviously levels by Avicii is a longer melody, but for the quick melody fills, I almost call these, we're only using three notes. Check it out. One, two, and three. Same note, same note, same note. One, two, and three. Now, if we go up to this right here, one, two, three. Again, we're only using three notes. Now there's four notes here, but what I'm saying is we're only using the three notes and we're repeating this note twice. And then over here, what we have going on is we're breaking the rule a bit with a cool grace note. But notice the call and response is working. We have two different instrument sounds to keep the listener engaged and we're using the law of three. And scientifically, the law of three helps the listener listen for more. At least that's what I found through my discoveries of studying this stuff. Next, great melody tip number three, the quick grace note. Listen in here to how much better this is gonna sound with the, the grace note included. So this is what I consider the grace note right here, the tran. Now that little grace note right there, that quick repeat note, the tran tan, it's something that Avicii does in all of his songs. Kaigo, a lot of these guys always do it, but it just makes the melody so much more interesting and so much more captivating. Now, what I could also have done is in this first one right here, I could have not added a grace note. And then in the second part of this melody, I could have added, started adding these grace notes in right here. Okay, the next thing going on in this melody, and this is more so in the saxophone lead, is that I have reverses going into the note. So this just adds another dimension, right? And again, the sound design still needs work on this stuff and there's still acoustical things that need work, but just listen in here. It sucks the listener in, the reverse is great. And there's actually another part of this song that I can get to and show you guys right here where I'm actually using a reverse. And this still needs work, obviously, but I have a reverse right here leading the listener into the next part of the song. So we do the same thing right here with our saxophone lead. And you can actually listen. So we're basically sucking the listener in right there. So that's the fourth thing. You can use these reverses to draw your listener into the melody. And then the fifth thing is having a consistent drone note. So I'm gonna replace this, but it's doing the job for now. If we listen in. So what I have this consistent note doing, and I'm not gonna unfreeze it because there's it just wouldn't work with recording the screen, it's going back and forth playing this high note. And again, guys, 
soloed by itself, it doesn't really sound great, but when you add it to the mix, it just adds another flavor. And something else you may not have been hearing is that I actually have a guitar lead doing the exact same thing. I believe I got this from Echo Soundworks. And if we just listen in here, let me mute this. And I'm actually filtering these in. So you're gonna hear it more and more. So again, all these little elements contribute to making a great melody. There's obviously a bass line, there's obviously drums, there obviously needs to be better mixing and mastering behind it. But what I'm trying to show you guys is that there's five things you could be doing right now to make your melodies better. You can be using the call and response, the law of three. You can be using reverses and also consistent note and that quick grace note. Those are five things you can be doing. And this project is gonna sound great when it gets done. So I'm looking forward to finishing it and now you guys hopefully took something away from this video. So if you did, if you did get some value, please like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section, ask questions, and I wanna keep helping you guys from there. So hope you guys enjoyed this video again, and until next time, I will see you in the next video.